How's it guys? Today I'm going to show you a simple way to flash an Ender 3 motherboard and we will load a bootloader onto the board and then flash with the latest version of Marlin 3D. Why do we need to flash a Ender stock board? By the way, I'm, I'm flashing a Ender version 1.1.1, uh, whoops, version 1.1.3 motherboard. Why do we need to flash a motherboard? Marlin is updated quite often and has some useful new features. So you want to keep it up to date. Um, but the main reason why we want to flash a stock Ender 3 motherboard is because it does not have thermal runaway protection enabled. What is thermal runaway protection? Say you've got a hot end that is connected up to, to your motherboard and you've also got the thermistor. Now the thermistor measures the temperature. The motherboard will put power onto the hot end to raise the temperature. Uh, but it doesn't get a temperature increase, so it continues putting power onto the uh, hot end. And if the thermistor fails for any, any reason, it will continue to put power onto the hot end until the printer actually catches on fire. It's quite a dangerous situation where the printer will um, start burning and eventually set the whole house on fire. So thermal runaway protection, what it does is as it's pushing power. If it doesn't see that the temperature goes up over a certain period of time, it cuts off all power to the hot end and to the rest of the printer, protecting it from the thermal runaway. So that is the most re important reason. But if you also want to put things like a BL touch onto your onto your printer, which is your auto levering uh, sensor, you can do that with an updated version of Marlin. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the easiest and most simplest way of updating Marlin. This is this is quick and easy. I promise you, it's going to be painless. I took the motherboard out of my Ender 3, so it's easier for me to show you. Um, you might want to do this as well, but I suggest against it. But if you do, make sure that you clearly mark each pin that goes into here, so it's easy to assemble back on. What do we need for this? So we need the motherboard, of course. We need an Arduino Uno, um, a female to female jumper set. I've only got a female to male, but through this, I've gone female, male, male, female. So I've got a female to female jumper set. Okay. And the latest build of TH3D. What we do is we go over to, uh, to TH3D. We're going to go into the software, uh, onto their website. I'll link it down in the description below. And we download the latest firmware. Now, I've already done that. So I'm going to go and open up the firmware. Now, if you don't use the TH3D version, you have to go and download the Arduino um, IDE, and then you go download all the motherboards for this, and it really is painful. It's, it's quite complicated because you've got to go and find the right uh, packages to go install the motherboard. But with the TH3D version that they give you, if you go into the, the folder, there's something they called Open Firmware Windows. We double-click on that. That runs the correct version of Arduino with all the motherboards loaded and uh, everything that you need in order to uh, to run and, and install your, your package. So let's start doing this. So the first thing we need to put onto the uh, Arduino is the bootloader. In order to connect the Arduino to the uh, Creality motherboard, we need to just do some simple connections. At the top of boards, if you have the boards at this orientation with the USB port facing down, and your um, LCD at the top here, you'll see that you've got six header pins on both devices. They actually line up one for one. So if we start off, I'm going to take the orange one, I'm going to put it into the top left-hand corner, the first one, and I'm going to take the orange, and I'm going to put it into the top left-hand corner of the motherboard. We Then we want to take the next wire and put it into the second one, and we do the same on this side. So as easy as one for one. Let's go for the next one. Let's plug it in. And the next one there. And then we go down to the next row, the first one. And the next one. Now, we also want to stop after we've got to the second one on the second row. So that's going to be on my case here. It's going to be purple. And we connect it here. And then we want another jumper wire, which is a female to male. Now, this female to male goes on the Creality motherboard side and then into pin 10 of the Arduino. Right, that's our wiring done. That's the hardest part of this whole process. So let's plug 
our uh, cable into the USB port on your laptop and then plug it into your Arduino. Wait for everything to click up. Firstly, we need to put a bootloader into the Arduino. The Arduino needs to act as our, as our conduit to the motherboard. So in order to do that, we click on File. We go to Examples, Arduino ISP, and Arduino ISP. This will open up a new sketch in Arduino. And we can then go to Tools. We go to the board, and we change our board to Arduino Uno, because that's the first thing we're flashing here. right? Then we're going to make sure that our COM port is correct. It'll say COM port 3 and then the name of the Arduino Uno next to it. So we just uh, verify that. And if you really want to make sure everything is connected and everything's healthy, click on Get Board Info. That'll give you the serial number and it will confirm that everything is connected up correctly. Once you've done that, we can then just go on to the arrow to Upload. And that will upload the ISP programmer to the Uno. Uh, this takes one or two seconds. And... It compiles the sketch and we'll begin uploading shortly. Right, okay, there we go. Now it's uploaded, it's writing, and once it's successfully done, it will say, Arduino done, thank you. Very polite. Right, now that the Arduino has been set up as a, a programmer, let's flash the bootloader to the actual Creality motherboard. So how we do that is we go to Tools, we go to Boards, we change that to Sanguino. We make sure that our COM port through the Arduino Uno is still set up as COM port 5. And then we make sure that programmer Arduino as ISP is set. So Arduino as ISP. And then we click on burn bootloader. This will now compile and burn the bootloader through to the uh, Creality motherboard. And it is now done. Again, maybe I'll do the thank you. And we are done. So that's that step. Now we need to just disconnect the Arduino from our our laptop and we disconnect it from our motherboard so that's done so we take it away so now we've just got the thing and we're going to plug in a cable uh, straight from the uh, Creality motherboard into the laptop all right so that's step one I'm going to add a screen to this all right now as you can see on the screen is blank um, sorry, it's a little bit low light because of the. I'm only running through the the USB power, so the screen is blank, right? So then, what we do is we now we switch back to our original TH3D Unified uh, framework. We click on Configuration H. We type uh, Control F for to find, and we say Define Ender 3. One word like that, and we say Find, and it'll take us to to the Ender 3 options. Now this is what is so nice about the unified framework is all I have to do is take the two forward backslashes away from before define Ender 3 and it will be ready to go. So that will now enable the Ender 3 and we can now compile. Now because we unplugged the Arduino and we plugged into the motherboard directly, the COM port will change. So the first thing you want to do is change your COM port uh, to whatever is on your computer, right? And then we do an upload. So once it, it must be Sanguino, and we click on Upload. This will now compile the sketch, compile the whole framework, the Unified Framework, and begin uploading it to the uh, to the Creality motherboard. So we give it a second, and you can see it it starts to upload. And we'll write everything to the motherboard. Give that a few minutes. And with that, we are done. And you can see that the motherboard reboots and we've got Marlin loaded onto our Creality. So that's it. And it's done. We are done. That's the Arduino Flash with the latest version of Marlin. We can reconnect this up, check it out on our printer and make sure everything is done. Thanks guys. That's, that's it for this tutorial. It's very quick, very easy. I want to give a quick mention here that this entire tutorial was shot on my Note 10, my Samsung Note 10, which we, Note 10 Plus, which we did a review on. If you look over here, we click on the card, you can go open up the review and go and have a look at that. Go and check out this phone. It's an amazing phone with amazing video. You'll see the quality difference on this video is quite exceptional. That's it for today. 
check back soon for more videos. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. This helps us understand what you would like to see. If you want to see more of our videos, consider subscribing to our channel and press the notification icon to be notified when a new video comes out. Post comments, let us know what you want to see. Tell us if you like this video or if there's any other subject matter that you would like to see. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. We buy everything ourselves in this channel and really want to grow this channel. God bless you guys. Love you guys and see you soon. Cheers.